Hi, my name is Adam Mortensen, and we're going to talk about increasing biodiversity on campus here at UNL. So what is biodiversity? Um, to start, it can just be described as the vari variety of life in an ecosystem. Um, communities that live in ecosystems and their environments include deserts, rainforests, um, and then here in Nebraska, mostly grassland. Um, all species are interconnected, um, and that's why biodiversity is so important because there are um, really complex interactions between everybody involved. Um, it also, uh, increased biodiversity will provide better opportunity for shelter, um, food, forage, everything for animals and plants involved. So now we're going to talk about why is this important um, to a greater extent. Uh, the importance of biodiversity is beyond just its intrinsic value. It also includes the well-being of humans through ecosystem services such as erosion control, um, cultural services like educational uh, opportunities and opportunities for recreational value, along with supporting services um, like biodiversity being a major uh, factor in ecosystem strength and resilience. Um, Let's go back actually real quick, please. Sorry. <laughs> um, improved ecosystem services at UNL will lead to healthier ecosystems that can better support these services. Um, there will also be uh, economic and social value for East Campus as we uh, improve the area. So what's our issue, what's our dilemma here? Um, Adding native plant species to the wide expanses of grass on East Campus is our main goal here. The additional native plants will add to the biodiversity um, as native animals soon come to reclaim those areas. It also would add pollinator habitat to open grass areas, which would bring more native flowers as well. So here is our map of, of East Campus, and you'll see a lot of these kind of open, grassy, just sodded areas that don't seem to be doing much right now. We feel like these areas would be important uh, places where we could increase biodiversity by planting some native grass, um, native grass species there. Here's our mind map that we uh, constructed while working on this project to kind of visualize where our ideas were taking us um, along the way. Obviously focusing on biodiversity kind of moving out from there. So uh, factual and scientific information for increasing biodiversity on campus. We wanted to look, are there examples close by? Um, what can we base our ideas off of? And luckily, we have Nine Mile Prairie, believe it or not, nine miles from campus, uh, which is an excellent resource for us. Um, it has 230 acres of tall grass prairie and it's a perfect blueprint for what we want to do um, with East Campus. It's, it's home to multiple uh, endangered species like the white fringed or orchid and the uh, Mossasaka rattlesnake and over 80 species of birds as well. The prairie is in full bloom June through September. It goes dormant in the winter, although there are some plant species that maintain their structure throughout the year. So it was initially purchased uh, by the University of Nebraska Foundation in 1983 with a donation from Miss Margaret Hall. Um, it's one of the largest tracts of tall grass prairie left in the Midwest, which means it serves as a nationally important laboratory of study for grasslands. Also, it's a seed source for local genotypes of species um, for prairie restoration efforts, which would be very important for our goal here on East Campus. It's also one of the longest studied areas in Nebraska. So working on this project, our group had to decide what's our environmental ethic, what's important to us, and how will that guide us to um, a goal in the end. So we decided that we place biodiversity very high on our list uh, in priorities. Humans are just another member of a massive ecological web. That being said, we have to acknowledge the place of importance and the incredible ability we have to make change in the environment. Um, in regards to our specific ethical approach, we decided on the common good test being most effective as it applies itself well in this situation as we look at the common good for all species involved, not just people, plants, animals, um, everyone using the space. 
Uh, in the current era, the change that we have had has mostly been negative, but that doesn't mean we can't make progress and fix issues we've had. We need to preserve and protect land that still exists while focusing on repairing damage that we may have done before. And we decided that we could distill this idea down to a pretty simple question, and that is what can be done to improve the situation around me? What actions can I take to make this place more beautiful, more beneficial, um, and a better, better place for everyone involved? So now we'll talk about our stakeholders because people will be very interested uh, in our project here. Uh, some main ones to look at would be the faculty, staff, and student body, as increasing the biodiversity planted in these natural grass areas would have a lot of educational value, improve curriculum and opportunities for students on East Campus who are especially looking at a lot of natural resources and added programs. Uh, donors and funders will obviously be important, as money is a big factor here. Contributions from them will be important as we hope to move forward. The School of Natural Resources will play a big role as oversight and planning for this will be a no small feat, we're sure. And then landscape and crew will also be important as they maintain these natural areas, which should be easier for them, which we can talk about as we move on throughout our presentation. And finally, researchers would be a major stakeholder as having an area on campus would be super beneficial instead of needing to go travel to areas to do research, they could stay here uh, on East Campus and do that research. So, our recommendation is to implement these native plant species to areas that currently are just maintained sod on East Campus. Um, these areas are scattered around. We looked at the map earlier, here are some more where you can just see green grass, and as beautiful as green grass is, we think natural grasses would look even better. So, the focus is to increase biodiversity on East Campus by adding native plant species that will in turn improve pollinator habitat, reduce the need for chemical treatments such as pesticides, as well as, as well as the amount of water needed to support plant growth, as native plant species in the native grasslands of Nebraska need less water than your beautiful green grass does. Um, the native grasses will also not need to be maintained by the landscape crew in the same way, as they are their own mini ecosystem and naturally grow to a taller length than um, long grass typically would. Um, and finally, with these recommendations, it would bring UNL into closer accordance with the, U, uh, the UN goal, specifically UN goal 15, which deals with life on land, along with millennium assessment goals of increasing biodiversity. So we need to talk about pros and cons of this plan. Uh, the pros are increasing biodiversity, and we talked about why that's important for ecosystem health and ecosystem services before. We also talked about the educational value, and that's not just for ag and natural resource students. Um, there are actually multiple writing classes that take trips out to Nine Mile Prairie right now to um, look at how a natural area can inspire you uh, in artistic endeavors. So having a place like that on East Campus would be very beneficial for that as well. We have our research value in the same way that Nine Mile Prairie is a research hub for uh, grassland um, experiments. East Campus can serve in that same capacity and will have reduced maintenance costs. The cons are the initial, uh, the initial investment in improving East Campus uh, as we will have to remove sod and plant seed. So looking at alternatives and what other campuses have done, we have Wake Forest who has been doing really cool stuff, uh, ensuring land for native species, um, doing a lot with uh, preserving prairie lands as well. They have 17 acres themselves, uh, native metal environment, um, preserved forests as well, and they even installed ponds. So we'd be doing similar stuff looking to create areas for native species. And then UC Davis um, does similar stuff as well, where they are dedicated to preserving native species in the area um, and increase the awareness of importance of biodiversity. And similar to the way Nine Mile Prairie acts, they are also a hub for research um, addressing environmental threats such as climate change. So similar to UC Davis, we have an opportunity here, a great opportunity at UNL, to um, increase the beauty of our area as we bring the natural beauty of the uh, prairie grassland back to campus. Uh, we believe this is an opportunity we can't pass up as it would improve opportunities and 
uh, educational goals for everyone on campus. Thank you.